What is going on guys? It's Bucky again and welcome to your 12th Git tutorial and in this video as you can see what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use Git when working with an actual project. I think it's a lot easier um, and I think we're ready to start working with the actual project in this case a website instead of just covering like basic commands. It's going to make Git a lot more useful and make everything else from here on out make a lot more sense. So the first thing I want to mention is this is the website I'm going to be working with. I uh, paid some guy $20 to make this website so <laughs> it only has four pages home about pictures and contact. Really simple and also if you guys want these files and I recommend uh, you download them so you can follow along I'll put this link um, in the description below the video but you guys can download download this entire zip folder and if you go to file download you can get it for free and you can follow along all of these files one click boom you got it for free so anyways this is the website right here I don't know why it even says Gonzo at the top check this out I think it's his name or something but uh, let's go ahead and let me guys go ahead and show you guys let me go ahead and show you guys what, what am I talking about this is what we're gonna be doing so we have this folder called dogs and if we double click it we can see that it has all of these files in it and this is basically a website it has CSS files MJ some JavaScript and of course your main HTML files right there but the thing is that right now this is just a folder and also whenever you guys download this it isn't going to be a git project git isn't going to be tracking it it's just a regular folder on your desktop so again if you forgot the first thing we need to tell git is hey we want to turn this into a git project we want to track changes in this folder so how do we do that we open git bash and we first have to navigate to the folder and mine let me just move this slightly there we go so right now um we have to change to the desktop and it also depends where yours is but mine's on the desktop so desktop and i named that folder dogs so hit enter and as you can see we are now inside this dogs folder so if we type get status and hit enter it said all right this dogs folder is not even a repository yet so we're not keeping track of any changes so you know nothing to display here so in order to turn this into a repository the command is git init which means initialize repos repository kind of a tongue twister and then it said initialize empty git repository la 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 git pretty much i turned that folder into a git project now keeping track of changes so now when we do git status and hit enter it says okay right now this folder is a git project but you have all these files that you didn't add yet so whenever you initialize a repository remember it just says okay you're now working with git but we still need to add all the files and of course the easiest way to do that is git add and instead of typing every file name just hit period which means all and hit enter alright so what this is saying is pretty much just the line endings there are um, different style line endings but it doesn't really matter so it's pretty much means one style of line ending is going to be replaced with another style of line ending um, not really that big a deal it's just uh, you know different operating systems so now that we added all the files to the git repository what we have to do is or excuse me now that we added them to the staging area we have to commit them so if we type git commit not summit git commit minus m we can just put a message like um this is the very first commit and eh, good enough so go ahead and hit enter and boom look at that we now have all of our files added to the repository and every single file in the stocks folder is now being tracked by git so remember download the stocks file initialize your repository add everything to the staging area and then commit everything and once you do that you guys are ready to go we're ready to start act working with the actual project so i'm excited and i'll see you guys in the next video